In Northern Europe, Finland has spent the last decade steadily attracting worldwide attention for its math and reading scores. In Helsinki, we asked teachers at two very different schools to talk about their work. One school in the middle of the city is generally attended by well-off children of educated Finnish parents. The other school in an economically challenged area of town is generally attended by low-income and immigrant children. In Helsinki Normal Lyceum, Tanelli Nordberg teaches English. He says Finland emphasizes bringing every child up to a minimum level of achievement. We make sure that each and every one gets to that certain level. So in that case, it doesn't make a difference where you live in Finland. Everybody reaches a certain level. We make sure that happens. Now that level is not very high, you know, but they do reach that level. Everybody does. So it doesn't matter. You can take a random school anywhere, basically, a random school. Make them do a test, and they will score well. I think that's not true in, in, in say, the States. I mean, there are schools that are very good, and then there are schools that are very down there. Ali Matta, who also teaches at the Lyceum, says education, literacy, and speaking multiple languages are highly valued in Finnish society. Language selection in Finnish schools is, is quite wide. You're able to, to start with another A language when you're nine years old. But then the other A language starts the fifth grade, so when they're 11. And then the third one comes with Swedish in the, in the seventh grade. And most of them still take the fourth language in eighth grade. And then another uh, language when you go to the upper secondary. So these students might read six different languages. Uh, I usually at least try to motivate my kids that whatever language you study, it opens a new world, it always opens doors. About seven miles from the center of Helsinki, in a more economically challenged part of town, Vesela Comprehensive School looks a little more like what you might find in a Milwaukee inner city school. It has a diverse population of students and many families who struggle to make ends meet. Special education teacher Nina Helenin Maliaticus says their school moves more slowly than others because many of their immigrant children come to school not speaking Finnish or English as a first language. I think we, have, we realize that at our school the speed we go forward is slower than in other, many other places because even though we provide more help into the classroom, they still can't go ahead the same way than maybe somewhere else in Helsinki. Uh, so we really concentrate on the basic skills, you know, I think that the level of the basic skills of the students who live from our school are even really higher than the, the other schools. Learning the basic skills like how to study and uh, what to think about their future and um, learn to deal with things on your own, those are the things you learn probably better here because we spent a lot of time on these basic things. Even the Finns can't tell you exactly why they've scored so high on an international standardized test known as PISA. But they do believe that a selective teacher training program, a national curriculum, and an immense amount of support for struggling students has helped improve achievement levels. We're all, I guess, trying to find out why we're doing so well in the PISA, because there's definitely no one answer. It's something we're like laughing a little. When we hear the results, we're like, oh, okay, oh. you know, why? We don't really... Of course, the thing is, I told you earlier, we, we, in Finland people respect people who educate, who are working in education, and I think the educators themselves give respect to themselves. You know, we feel important. I think it's actually quite important factor that you feel important as a teacher. And when you tell somebody, I'm a teacher, nobody tells you, oh, shit, you know, you should be doing something else. Why aren't you a doctor or engineer or something? People say, okay, good, you're doing a good job.